welcome back guys hope you're all doing great and today in this course we are going to learn how to create our own personal google map companion by using next.js chakra ui components and google api services and rapid api services i'm going to teach you how to use all these things completely from the scratch and we are going to develop this project everything by ourselves and now allow me to explain what we are going to develop in this course here you can see that it's having this nice ui which is developed by using next.js and chakra ui components over here and you can see it's loaded all the details currently by using the rapid api and it's having this nice design exactly which is done by using google map you can see that which resembles exact UI of the Google map and here it's having this image of the restaurant and the ranking rating number of reviews and all these details are coming from rapid API which is exactly user-friendly over there and it's plotted all the restaurant details by using its latitude and longitude location through my uh, through the Google API and currently it's using my current local location and even I can search a different location also for instance if I'm searching for let's say I'm searching for Sydney so that will gives me all the suggestions for the term what I'm searching over here whatever I'm typing that will provide me these suggestions over here if I click that particular place that will loads that details completely in the map and it will try to fetch all the available restaurants in that particular region when whenever I'm searching see it's loading that it's having that nice loading skeleton UI which is powered by um, chakra ui and it's fetching the details according to that particular map location and showing all the restaurants in that particular map location and it's also plotting that details in the google map if i click that i can even see that particular uh, location but partic that particular pin information with the images and also the restaurant name maybe in future if you wish to upgrade that information you can update that information that's up to you and it's working completely fine if I want to close it I can close it and even if I search for hotels that will search the information regarding the hotels so these are the top rest hotels in that available location and if I click the ratings over here I can change I can choose according to the ratings for instance if I click above 4 so currently it's showing only the restaurants or the hotels which is having above 4 ratings if I choose 2 now it's filtering see even you can see the restaurants which having four and it's trying to uh, fetch the hotels for instance if i change it four again now see it's displaying only the five stars hotels so this rating is working fine if i click attractions it's try to fetch the most in and beautiful places nearby to it okay so currently there is none so it's returning the restaurants over there so maybe if I tried some other places, Sydney. So it's loading all the informations over there and it's uh, plotted exactly all the informations. See, GK Residency, Royal Suit, Hotel, Ratna Park. Okay, so everything is working fine. So whenever you are refreshing it try and currently loads the information from your current local destination look at that it's loading all the information currently from my local destination and it's automatically trying to figure it out what is the available places nearby and it's fetching all the information from the API and it's plotting all the information in your Google map so this is all uh, running perfectly by using the API services and I'm going to teach you how to integrate all the API services perfectly in this project and we are going to learn everything from the scratch and without wasting your time now let's get started okay then so now open up your browser and search for uh, next.js 
and you can find their official documentation on in the nextjs.org so click their documentation and then go through this docs to create and configure all the uh, important settings regarding the nextjs so first we are going to create the nextjs so copy this command and open up your terminal navigate to your desired folder location and here I'm going to create a new directory so mkdir new directory called travel advisor youtube and cd travel advisor youtube the project which we created and paste that command right over here right click it and npx create next app at latest and dot slash in that current folder location we are going to create this project so press enter so this will install all the necessary dependencies like react react dom and all those things in the current folder next js is nothing but it's running top of your react framework it's very easy and user friendly just like running a react code in the next it's literally easy so i'm going to teach you everything so we are going to configure the chakra ui by the time it's getting installed all these dependencies and all those things let's go ahead and have a look at the chakra ui if i search for chakra ui you can find their official documentation their website over here so click it and click get started and you can see that what are the applications they are supporting to work with the chakra ui so we are not going to work with the react app we are going to work with the nextjs so click this so there are certain steps and installation procedures we need to follow for nextjs so we are going to do all those things one by one once the project is successfully created so still it's in the same location i don't know why so let me stop it clear the screen and rerun the same command again okay it's having some issues so let me open it what is that issue just a minute let me bring my screen in this side d drive let me clear that folder completely and we'll recreate that project one more time wait a second what is that project oh, come on come on come on come on come on come on Mm. Come on. React projects next JS need to yeah because of this it's showing error. Let me close it and let me rerun that command one more time. So that will install all the record dependency. Yep, now it's starting installing the file because of my network issue. It's not installed previously. So now it's successfully installing the required dependencies on all those things. Okay, and let's go ahead because we need few API services. For that, I'm going to use the Rapid API to fetch all the required information. So click the Rapid UO API over here. So we need to sign up or log in so I'm already having an account so feel free to create an account by using sign up so if I if you click the login option so here you can log in by using Gmail github or log Facebook and all those things in this case I already finished my uh, one month quota for the uh, by using Gmail otherwise you because this these there are certain services or paid services uh, or if you're not using the paid services there are very limited services provided by your API, rapid api so in this case i'm going to go with github you are feel free and you can sign in by using by google itself i'm going to with github so that will takes me to the rapid api services over there so i will create the travel search for travel advisor yeah this one travel advisor this is the api we are going to use so before getting started to this api services we need to subscribe to it otherwise it will not work so what you need to do is you need to go to the pricing services over here and you need to subscribe for this uh, this particular information for uh, basic without that's a free version so click subscribe to it and here if you wish to use more than uh, if you're running more than 500 requests then you need to go for pro version you need to pay $20 per month 
okay so I'm going to stick with the free version itself click it and navigate to the endpoints and let's have a look at it what are the endpoints they are providing us look at here you can search for hotels and you can search for restaurants you can search for attractions and nearby the beautiful attractions and flights and all those informations uh, let's talk about the restaurants now and if you wish to search using the latitude and longitude you need to search in the list in boundary option so that will take the latitude and longitude location by of the map and it will try to fetch the and it will returns the information which is in that particular boundary okay so we are going to use this particular api in our project okay so let's go ahead and look now project is now successfully created and let me open that project in our visual studio code editor let me bring that visual studio in the screen okay so here you can see that it's having all the necessary information styles public folder pages folder inside the pages folder next js is app by predefined it's giving the api folder and this is our main app which where it's loading all our child page props and everything and this is the index file currently it's going to up and running so let's go ahead and start our next js project so npm run dev this will run the development server and it will fire the development server in the local host 3001 so let's click it and open this in our local host server look at that this is our project currently which is up and running perfectly okay so now we are going to make few changes in it i'm going to stop the server right now and i'm going to make few alteration because we are going to install the chakra ui which we already opened in the browser so what we need to do is so click this all this we need to copy all these lines so click here to copy and go to your visual studio code and paste in your terminal npm i chakra ui react and emotion react and styled and the framer motion for all the animation purposes so click it that will install all the necessary things which we which is required for this project along with that we need to install few more services that once it gets successfully installed we will install along with that we need to install the google maps api so to support the google map google api services and we need to use axios that is the package which is really useful for uh, right into get the request from our apis and all those things so let's clear the screen terminal screen over here so now it's cleared and let's clean up the project a little bit what i'm going to do is i don't know i don't need this style so let me delete it delete it delete it and clear everything inside this index.js clear everything so we don't need anything inside that and we need to go to app.js i don't need this app.js over here delete it okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to wrap this with the chakra provider this one chakra provider so copy this line or just type it by yourself import chakra provider i'm going to wrap all my component into it so let's say enter open a bracket over there and here what we are going to do is we are going to open the chakra provider open it and inside this we are going to keep all our components inside here so this is Oh, come on save the changes like this open the bracket component bracket this is going to return a component inside that we are having this thing chakra provider and what is this actually doing is this will uh, wrap all the chakra ua components and utility classes everything in our particular application so that we can use all the chakra uis in the our app component 
So let's go to the index.js and here in the index.js we are going to create a dummy. We are going to create the like uh, uh, our main component first. So what we are going to do is let's create the home screen and over here and that is going to be going to be our main home screen. So const home is equals an arrow six function and this is going to return for the time being I'm just returning an h1 tag and that's going to say hello world hello world exclamation symbol dot 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 save the changes and we should export this as a default application export the home screen okay so now let's fire it up and make sure everything is working fine run developers window open it now we should see our hello world information over there cool it's working fine guys look at that we'll get our hello world over there so it's working fine perfectly no issues and let's go ahead and stop the server and we need to install few more packages as I said okay so let's install all the necessary packages what we need Okay, so let me copy that necessary packages and paste it here and you need to install all these necessary packages so don't worry I already dropped this uh, packages in the description box so go ahead and copy this command and paste it in the terminal or just type it without any spelling mistake we are going to use this material UI lab and you need to you need to use this uh, record Google Maps API's Axios Google Map react and react icons these are all the necessary packages which we are going to use inside our project okay so this react Google Maps API is for the autocomplete what we are having in our uh, that local project and this axios which helps you to fetch the information from the uh, apis and this is for our map and this is for the icon source so enter it this will install all the necessary applications necessary packages in our application sorry okay so let's it's get install it's taking a while more than usually let's wait when it gets done now and then we'll start writing the coding come on cool now it's installed so let's start run our development server npm run development window okay so now our server is up and running okay so now let's create a new folder which we are going to maintain all the necessary components in our project so right click our root folder and create a new folder called components and inside this components I'm going to have a few component like header it's going to have our all our header.js all our all our navigation board and all those the details so RAFC and if you are wondering about what is that RAFC is nothing but react snippets you can go to the extension and search for ES67 react snippets which is really comes handy whenever you are working with react projects so go ahead and install that snippets and here I'm just going to say for the time being header save the changes and inside here I'm going to create one more thing dot list dot JSX same as RAFCE and here I'm going to say list and one more thing that's map dot JSX RAFCE and here type map and one more thing that's place detail detail dot JSX RAFCE place detail save the changes so let me close everything for the time being I don't need any of this so keep it clean we'll clean this that's one also okay so now let's go to the index.js over there and let's start creating all the necessary things okay so first what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring all the components into it right above so let me import all the components so what I'm going to do is import uh, header 
which is coming from our dot slash no double dot slash components slash header copy and paste it few more times and this time it's going to be lists lists and map map and this is going to be place detail copy it and give it over here so these are all the packages or components which we created and we already successfully imported over here okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to use i'm going to create a, a flex box so this is nothing but this is the flex box which is coming from your react uh, sorry your chakra ui which is nothing but a flex box with a default flex properties and all those things okay and inside this flex box what we are going to do we are going to load our uh, header list and map so let's load our header and that's the self closing tag and right after here we are loading our list and right after here i'm going to load my map save the changes now if you have a look at it you should see all the header and list and map everything is loading in a single line because it's absolutely it's because of that um flexbox container which we having in the flexbox okay so that's powered by the chakra ui if you wish to see much more information if you go ahead and the chakra ui and search for flex you can see all their properties and uh, all the necessary utility classes what you need to use in their flexbox in their properties okay so go ahead and spend your quality timing in it and go through all this document anyway i'll explain it one by one what i'm going to write inside while well, the time whenever i'm writing it okay so here first we need to alter we need to add few more styles for it so let's say justify the content everything in the center and align the items in the center and we are going to fix the width is equals and it's going to be 100 viewport width and height it's going to be 100 viewport height and maximum width it should use only the 100 viewport width and the maximum height also going to be Android viewport height okay and I'm going to say position as a relative positions okay so for the time being I'm just adding a background color so that you can see how it's affected let's say blue okay so let's go ahead see this is how it's affected so far over here look at that we are having all these informations in the center cool let's go ahead and remove the background color we don't need that background color anymore okay so now we are done with that and now what we need to do is we need to configure the map we need to load the map in our component over here we need to load that map in our component so let's finish that one and we will move on to that rest of the informations okay so let's go ahead and do that first okay then now what we need to do we need to go to the map component hold your control key and click that map component that will opens the map component okay now what we need to do is inside this first we need to uh, create a division instead of this division i'm going to use the chakra ui and what is that is nothing but box box is nothing but a kind of like a division in chakra ui okay and this should take the width full and height as well full okay so this that map is literally going to be load completely in the main screen okay that's what we are going to do now and now what we are going to do here um, 
let me hide these two informations because we don't need to display it for the time being right now okay now everything is blank that's good let's go back to the map and here we need to load the map so what we are going to do is we are going to load the map from the uh, what is that uh, we are going to use the google map react which we in installed so let's import that import google map react google map react from google map react this is the package we are going to use and here i'm going to open that and close it and inside this it's going to have a quite a few properties inside it let's say and it's going to use the bootstrap url tree and time being it's going to be an empty key and later i'll show you what you need to fill inside it and default center it's going to be uh, we need to send the coordinates informations for it so for the time being let's say coordinates absolutely this is not yet we created we need to provide these informations and we need to fetch the center and center is also going to be the coordinates and default zoom level of your map it's going to be 10 and the margin it's going to be uh, 50 50 50 50 in all the corners and options for the time being I'm just going to leave the options as empty options uh, this options is nothing but that helps you to customize your map how it's how the what is the design you need for that map what is the view you're going to use and then on change event and for the time being I'm just going to keep it as an empty an empty callback function okay and then on child click so child click is nothing but inside if you are clicking any element in the inside the map this particular method will be triggered and here for the time being I'm just going to create an empty callback function okay so if you are saving these changes absolutely we will get a bunch of errors because we don't have the coordinates and all those informations keys nothing is added up over here so first what we are going to do is we are going to set the coordinates for the time being go to the index.js okay and here uh, I'm going to create a state use state snippet so here I'm going to create the coordinates okay and that coordinates it's going to be an object for the time being I'm just loading latitude as 0 and longitude as 0 okay and this is going to be passed to your map.js coordinates equals set coordinates and then coordinates is equals coordinates why oh no comma we are passing that set and the coordinates details to our maps.js let me copy this and I will replace it here and let me open and I will destructure that two informations over here coordinates and set coordinates so why I am creating this state in my main app because later we need the coordinates to change and to fetch all the informations from the rapid API for the best practice you need to use the context or you need to use the redux to avoid the uh, to create a multiple state and send it to all the child properties that's the best practice to follow but for the time being to make it simple I'm going to use the states in all the child components on all those things so let's save it and let's go ahead and here it's showing you state is not defined absolutely we not yet defined it so import that package from the react okay cool so now that's uh, imported and it's throwing an error like page cannot load it. Google map is not correctly loaded it's all because we not yet provided the map key map key for our project over here 
So what you need to do is you need to go to console dot cloud dot google dot com. You need to go to that particular website and don't worry I'll give this link in the description box click it and go to that particular link and here expand it currently I'm having all the projects over here so you need to create a new project over here and what you need to do is you need to give a name for it so I'm just going to give travel advisor YouTube click create oops I'm sorry YouTube so that will create uh, that particular project over there okay so then that will take a while and you can go ahead and search for that project look at that the project is created over here click it okay and expand this tab here you can see this APIs and services click the APIs and services okay and if you click the uh, credentials it's loading if you click that credentials so we need to create a new credentials for using the API keys and all those informations so click the API key and then this is our API key so copy it okay copy it and then paste this API key in the this exact location over here you need to feed that API key over here so here type key colon and pass that key over here so this is not a best way to pass the all these secure uh, the secured informations later I'll show you how to keep all your uh, uh, security informations in the environment variables and how to access those things okay so for the time being let it be there and we need to install one more API key let's go to the library so click the API services and here you can see the library click the library and search for map API search it it will provides you the map API so here it's showing lots of map APIs but we are going to use the map JavaScript API click it and enable it okay so later we are going to use some places API's to fetch the uh, random places and all those things so you need to enable the billing informations for your project so to enable the billing informations go ahead and click the billing informations add your core details and all those things and this will not charge you more than because uh, only if you cross their limit they will charge as per your uh, the usage okay mostly it will be free only okay so go ahead and enable that billing for the time being I'm just going to use my own project which is already added all the billing information so over there I'm going to use that map dot informations alone so let me go ahead and click the credentials and copy that same credentials for you you can use that same credentials itself for me I'm just going to use this credentials which I having that billing information on all those things I will paste that credentials over there Okay, so let me paste it properly. Okay, cool. So now let me paste it and let me go ahead and now if I refresh this. Okay, so now you can see that our map is loaded perfectly. Look at that. It's loading perfectly. So it's initially it's loading from zero longitude and latitude. So that's why it's showing that issue. But now our map is working perfectly because of our, our API. Everything is configured. So now let's make our API key secure. So what you need to do is let me collapse this. And now in the root folder, I'll create a new one more file called dot env file environment file and make sure that you added that environment file in your git ignore. So right after here, add that .env file. 
so whenever you are deploying this code in the server or in your github profile this environment file will be ignored okay so here i'm just going to create google underscore map underscore api underscore key equals i'll go ahead and copy this key from here cut it and i will paste it here save the changes and instead of this i'm going to use process dot env dot this api key save the changes and to make sure that your environment variable to reload in your deployment server development server stop the server and rerun the server and now go ahead and refresh it it should work perfectly we are getting some issues why here everything is fine let me close it and let me go to localhost 301 come on what happened what is the issue we are facing mm, dot env dot process dot env google map everything is perfect hmm why so let me remove this and let me add that api let me verify one more time refresh it okay so this is working so it's not accepting our environment variable why why you are not accepting process node.js dot process okay process dot env environment is yes, exactly dot google api services to load all the dot env file that is inside the root folder okay so that's in the root folder only or i need to keep it inside the pages folder let me keep it inside the pages folder cls wait a second let me check a oh, command stop the server cls let's rerun the server open it once again and now still i'm getting the error okay so maybe it's because of the environment variable it's not accepting okay we'll check on that issue later for the time being i'll just keep it keep the informations as openly over here as it is okay i don't know why for the time being it's showing this error so we'll fix that error later no issues so now we just keep it as it is and let's rerun the server and this it's running our map perfectly so our map it's loaded successfully so we are good to go from now next what we need to do is we just need to configure our header and all those things so that's what we are going to do next okay then so now what we are going to do is we are going to work in our header component so before moving to the header we need to create two more states over here so const not const use state snippets and I'm going to create a type set type and that's going to load by default restaurants rest T A U R A N T S restaurants S T R E S T A U R A N T S restaurants okay and it's going to load the ratings also use state snippet ratings set ratings for the time being ratings it's going to be an empty because we are going to pass these two informations into our header component for the filtering purposes so let me unhide it and here i'm going to pass all those informations okay so this it's going to be uh, we need to pass the type and set type and all those informations to our header so what are the information we need to pass set type is equals set 
type then set ratings is equals set ratings and also we need to pass the set coordinates equals set coordinates so these are the informations we need to pass and let's destructure those informations over here set type then we need to pass let me close the map for time being environment github variable and set ratings comma then set coordinates comma safety change so we having all those necessary props for our header for the time being now and now let's get started so instead of loading like this header what i'm going to do is i'm going to load the flex from the chakra ui open the flex and load it okay and this is going to be the absolute position so position is going to be the absolute absolute position and it should always be top top zero left left zero okay and then we need to add few more properties that's going to be width is equals uh it should take the complete width of the screen and it should take for instance padding in x-axis the padding in x-axis is going to be a oh, come on padding in x-axis it's going to be four and padding in y-axis it's going to be two and z index it should be always the top of everything so one or one okay and then inside this flux box i'm going to create one more flux flex and inside this flex i'm going to create auto complete auto complete that should comes from react google map api services so make sure that it is coming from react google maps api services and then close this map inside this auto complete we are going to create our search input field so input that first i'm going to create input group from chakra ui and then enter and that input group it's going to width is going to be uh, 35 viewport width and the shadow it's going to be lg and inside this we are going to create the input right element right element Okay, what is going to be your right element for the right element I'm just going to keep the pointer events as none and the children inside that right element I'm going to load the icon which is coming from by search what is that icon that is going to be the icon so let me import that icon import from react icons slash bi bi and that is bi search icon okay so let's load that icon over here bi search and that color it's going to be gray color and the font size it's going to be 20 and you should end that icon so this icon will be loaded over there okay so for the time being it's showing issues Ah, okay it's because of the autocomplete so no no worries because of the autocomplete is showing error so we need to do few changes for the autocomplete so for the time being comment that auto hide autocomplete and refresh it and here you can see that that uh, you can see that icon over here for the time being it's not looking great because we need to alter few changes in it okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to complete this input group over here if you're not sure about what i'm typing right now go ahead your chakra ui and search for input group over here if you search for input group and nothing is happening why uh what i'm going to do i'm going to search for input manually over here input and these are the inputs we are going to use over here so search go through this document see this is the thing we are using 
input group well, I'm going to use the input along with the icons that's why I'm using these things so so go through this and let me complete this one what I'm started typing over here so right after this I need to use the input and that input is going to be the type and all those things not this input we are going to use the input by provided by your chakra UI self-closing tag and inside this input I'm going to say type it's going to be text then place holder placeholder it's going to be search Google map because later we are going to search this by using places API variant it's going to be filled variant because it's having lots of variants over here if you search for their docs over here you can find what are the difference between the filled outline all those things where it is here we go this is the filled one this is the outline one flushed unstyled on all these these things these are the variants and I'm going to use the filled one for this case and the font size it's going to be 18 pixels and BG it's going to be white and the text color it's going to be gray 700 and on hover okay on hover effect whenever I'm hover above it it needs to change the background color a little bit so for that what I'm going to use is I'm going to use this color specifically so white alpha 800 this one white alpha 800 and I'm going to use the same color code whenever I'm focusing it on focus that means once that input once I click inside that um, white alpha dot 800 once I clicked inside that text box it should change the place color and the placeholder color it's going to be color colon the same color copy and paste it save the changes now let's have a look at it in our local host look at that this is our search box when I hover it it's you can see that it's changing the color when I click it on focus event it's still having the same color over there look at that it's looking good cool now we need to change these filter options over here let's go and write these styles for our filters okay so right after this auto complete leave that uh, auto complete for the time being hidden I'll show you when you want to uncomment it okay so right here I'm going to create a flex box one more flex box which is going to hold all all your menu uh, filtering ratings and all those things and this is going to be align items center and justify the content in the center okay and inside this flex box we are going to create one more flex this is for our ratings okay this inside this only we are going to create the ratings. so let me create a style for it first so align align items let me hide it align items center and justify the content center and the padding px it's going to be 4 and padding py it's going to be 2 and BG it's going to be white rounded it's going to be full and margin from the margin left it should take 4 and shadow it should use the shadow as LG okay and the cursor it's going to be pointer okay still we need to add few more things that we will add later and let's bring up something inside it so what we are going to use is we are going to use the menu so if I go ahead and search for menu okay so here you can see that what is it how to create a menu for instance if I click it it's bringing up this nice menu over here and it's changing automatically right so we are going to use this menu only so let me create that menu 
and let's go and start creating it so let's use that menu so make sure that menu is imported from chakra ui react okay and that menu is it's not a self-closing tag i think so yeah menu is not a self-closing tag okay enter and first art i need to do is i need to load uh, icon so star b i star because it's a rating right so we need to load that star icon font size is going to be 25 then i need to bring the menu button menu button from chakra ui and close it inside this menu button uh, i'm just going to type choose ratings here I'm going to say MX is equals to transitions equals all 0 0.2 seconds border radius is equals MP okay so that's the information you need to supply and then if you save the changes currently you can see nothing okay you can't see anything for the time being it's not showing anything and let's complete it so that after this you can see the complete information over there save the changes and look at that I'm sorry I didn't save the file that's why it's not showing anything so it's it's showing that nice button and it's showing that uh, choose the ratings okay so when I click this I need to bring that menu list okay so right after this menu button we are going to create that menu list menu list inside this menu list I'm going to create one by one menu item so let's create the menu item where it is menu item chakra UI okay so this menu item so inside this menu item first what we are going to display we are going to display the text so here you can't create a paragraph or anything that is the for you need to use the typography that's why we are using the text component okay inside this I'm going to say all ratings and let's see see now we can see that it's working fine okay when I click it it's coming When I click again it's going back cool okay so now what we need to do is for this menu item we need to add some styles for instance for instance it's going to be display flex and it's going to be align items center and it's going to be justify the content center and also it's going to have the on click event on on click I'm going to call a callback function and that callback function is going to be set the set ratings set ratings as empty okay that means if you choose all rating it should keep an empty rating over there okay so now our first menu item is completed so let's copy this menu item and paste it one more time and this time instead of this um, what you can say instead of this uh, particular rating text rating I'm going to display a few more informations okay so if I click this the rating is also not looking good the text is also not looking good so we need to add few more styles over here and here so hold your alt key and click on the both text so type font size is equals 20 and font weight is going to be uh, 500 and color it's going to be gray 700 okay so uh, these are the things we are going to write and for here we are going to use the orange orange 500 we are going to use that particular style and instead of all rating it's going to be 2.0 okay so after this after this text what I need to do is I need to display the ratings so for that I'm going to use the ratings which is coming from material UI lab 
okay actually uh, for the rating i couldn't find any best packages for to use and this rating is highly user friendly to create the number of stars and all those things so use that material ui lab to create the rating stars and all those things so size i'm going to define it small and the value what is the star value only two because it's 2.0 rating right so read only okay now you should see that nice stars over there look at that how cool it is see it's looking good right and it's looking sick cool now let's go ahead and uh, let's create the remaining ratings on all those things okay so everything is working fine and whenever the user clicks set the ratings to two okay save the, that changes also okay so now what we need to do is we need to copy this information and we need to paste it so let me copy this menu item one more time paste it this time it's going to be three and here 3.0 and here value three paste it one more time this time it's going to be four and here it's going to be four and then this time it's going to be four and this time it's going to be is 4.5 and here it's going to be 4.5 okay and you can say instead of 4.5 we can say 5 here 4.5 and here it's going to be i save the changes and now let's see what is happening look at that okay so it's added everything is added perfectly so now what we need to do just a moment okay if i click this it's coming perfectly cool okay so now what we need to do is so right after this i need to create one more icon that's like a drop icon or something so let me create that icon after this menu list after this menu over here i'm going to give by chevron down chevron down font size it's going to be 25. let's see we have that icon if i click this that will bring this nice menu down and i can choose the ratings and all those things if you wish to add few space between it what you can do is um instead of uh here for all the items we are using justify content center instead of center you can change these strings to space around everywhere hold your alt key and press and type space around now if you go ahead and if you check it you can see that it's divide the spaces between them equally and now this is looking perfectly right cool now the rating filter is done so let's go ahead and create the next few more filtering options so right after this flex op flex box where is this flex is ending this flex is for our the rating okay that's good that's ending right over there enter and write this now what we need to do we need to create the filter for restaurants this is for our restaurants and that is also going to be our flex box okay inside this flex box only we are going to keep our two important informations what are the two important informations our icon and our text name so let's say bi restaurant icon and that icon size is going to be font size 25 okay and here i'm going to keep the text that text is going to be uh restaurants restaurants and this is going to take margin left three font size as font size is going to be 16 and font weight is going to be 
500 save the changes now you can see that icon over here but it's not looking good because we need to add a few styles over here and here i'm going to use the same repeated styles only what i'm going to do is i'm just going to copy that styles whatever i returned for this okay so as i here we need to add few more styles i forget to add that few more styles what are the styles is nothing but the hover event hover whenever i'm hovering it it's need to change its background color to uh, gray dot 100 whenever it's hovering and then transition it's going to be ease in out oops where I am here it is and then transition duration it's going to be uh, 0 0.3 seconds now copy all these styles and scroll down and where is our restaurant's flex box over here paste it exactly over here and let's verify it one more time so align center justify center padding x and y bg wide rounded full margin left for shadow cursor hover transition transition duration at last on click event on click i'm going to call a callback function and that's going to set set the type of the search what is the search we are going to use restaurant whenever the user clicks this it's need to search restaurants r e s t a u r a n t s restaurants save the changes and now let's see it look at that when i'm hovering it it's having that nice background changes over there same over here it's good now now what we need to do all I'm just going to where is this flux is ending over here copy this right after this flex now what we are going to do we are going to create the hotels hotels this is the hotels filter button change this to hotels and change this icons to bi hotel save the changes look at that it's done and set this type to uh hotel h-o-t-e-l hotels okay cool so later you we need this because uh we need this state to we need to set the state whenever i click that i need to set the hotels when i click that it's need to be set as restaurant and i will pass that to the api to fetch the informations that's what we are going to do next okay that's right next after this so flex this is where it's ending and this now last last one the last one is going to be the attractions search it attractions okay attractions and the icon we are going to use bi map alternative and the text is going to be attractions a t t r a c t i o n save the changes and now we have these awesome filter options in for our Google map over there. So our header now is pretty done. Next, what we need to do is we need to load the list, all the list for our current default location. This should fetch our current default location and it should bring all the list of our places that available restaurants and all those things over here. That's what we are going to do next. Okay then, so now let's get started working with our list where, where we are going to display all our list of uh, restaurant details. So let's go ahead and go to our index.js. We need to create few states over here to monitor our uh, uh, informations on all those things for the time being i'm just going to create places is equals and just a dummy data for our places so name let's say uh, sample place one i'll copy this and oops I'll copy this and I paste it few more times like this 
for the time being it's just going to be the dummy informations later we are going to change all those informations from the api we are going to fetch all those informations from there and i'm going to create a state is loading by default it's going to be false okay and uh, what I need to do is I need to pass these two informations to my list so I'm just going to pass those two informations over here places is equals places object and is loading is equals uh, we need to pass that uh, is loading state is loading state cool so let me for the time being i'm just going to keep this as a true okay because if this is loading we need to do something in the list.js so let's open our list.jsx okay so let's destructure that let me close this header let me destructure these informations first what we need to do places so copy the places and destructure those properties and we need to bring the is loading copy it and paste it okay so if it is loading return so what i'm going to do is if is loading then return this following things okay i'm going to say flex box okay if you go ahead and search for skeleton skeleton and here you can see that it's having this nice skeleton over here so we are going to use these skeletons and all those things in our project cool we are going to use this thing damn that's looking good right let's see how to use all those things let's go ahead to our project okay so first let's create a few styles for it okay so direction of this flex is going to be hmm? oh flex is not loaded so flex is going to load from chakra ui and the direction it's going to be column and the background bg color it's going to be white alpha 900 and the width it's going to be uh, 37 viewport width okay and height it's going to be 100 viewport height and position it's going to be absolute position and left it should be always zero and the top it should be always zero and z index it should be always one it should be top off of the map and overflow it should be hidden because it should not overflow when our uh, scrolling the whenever we're having the more values so we need to scroll down to that rest of the values so px and now what we can see in our thing look at that we can see this nice uh, list container over here okay so cool now inside here i need to load that skeleton if it is loading this loading is true i need to see that container uh, skeleton tracks over there so let's go to the over here and let me copy this and let me paste it here save the changes it will throw us error because we don't have this box skeleton circle skeleton text save the changes and let's go ahead and look at that we having this options over here which loaded that skeleton all the informations and but it's at the it's very top so what i can do is i can add the margin top for this box margin top 16 cool perfect right and now we can copy this few informations copy this Paste it, paste it, paste it, save the changes. Okay, look at that. So I think this uh, 16 is too much. Mm, 3 is enough, I think so. Yeah, perfect. Look at that. Now, 
if it is loading if it is loading you can see this nice skeleton ui if it is not loading now we need to load all the informations what we having over here okay so think about it if you are want to if you want to create this nice ui by yourself that will take a ton of time so we made it very simple and easily just by using chakra ui thanks to chakra ui <laughs> so now let's start writing the remaining codes so oh if this loading will change this to false there you can't see anything because if it is nothing it's not rendering so it's showing the error only because so right after this if condition where is the if and is it's rendering i think it's over in here so right after that okay uh if nothing else render return this one okay so i'm just going to return a flex flex inside here i'm just going to say hi so that will be written see it's loaded now what we need to do we need to add some styles and all those things for this and i'm going to add the exact same styles what i added for this flux so copy this and i'm going to paste it over here say the changes cool now inside this flux is going to be different because we are going to display these informations later these informations will be replaced by our api data so here flux is the card we are going to create okay and that is going to use the complete available space flux one and overflow y overflow y it's going to be scroll and margin top it's going to be 16 and direction it's going to be call okay cool now it's done then what we need to do is inside this flex boxes we are going to check if there is any places if there is places then render this like places dot map then it's going to take two parameters one is place itself and another one is going to be the index of it okay and here i'm just going to render the place detail component which we created okay place detail component which we created over here and i'm going to pass two different properties one is going to be that place detail itself a single place information okay and the key it should pass otherwise it will throws the error unique key identifier error okay so place it and let's go to the place component detail and let's destructure it i'll get the place information from there place and here i'm just going to display the place for the time being place dot name itself save the changes save the changes and now we should get all the place informations look at that so it's working now okay so later this will be uh this was going to be displayed displayed with our original place informations okay so now what we need to do is we need to fetch the original informations so before trying to fetch the original informations what we need to do is we need to get the actual local coordinates for our current location wherever the user is okay so that's what we are going to fetch so let's go to our index.js and then so right after here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to fetch the local uh, current location of the user by using the use effect so use effect use effect open it two parameters one is the function and another one is the dependencies okay so currently for this is i'm not going to pass any dependencies for it okay so this will will be executed by the initial time only once the website is loaded okay inside here what we are going to do we are going to get the mm, we are going to get the users 
current location on initial login or once the website is loaded and all those things okay so how to get the informations okay so we having the um, uh, what we can say we having the navigator so navigator navigator we having this navigator object by using this navigator object I'm going to use the geo location okay I'm going to use the geolocation dot geolocation method okay and here inside this we are going to have we are having the get current position that's a method and this method itself it's going to take a uh, parameters and that parameter is going to be an object okay and that it's going to be the co odds co odds c o o r d s co odds and that's it's going to be an object latitude okay this let's let's keep it as, as it is okay and after this where is this parameter is ending mm, I think this is ending over here over here I'm going to call a function okay so wait a second it's confusing for me itself it's confusing then how you will understand so open this bracket and here open an arrow six function enter and this inside this it's going to take an object and that is going to be your coordinate c o o odd coords and that coords it's going to take a key of objects so latitude and longitude we will fetch the latitude and longitude informations and for the time being we are just going to console log it so console dot log open the latitude and the longitude let's console log it so why i am console logging it as an object to so it will return as an object instead of simply displaying the number it will return as the latitude and longitude as an object so that we will came to notice that this is this object information cool now let's go to our browser and it's asking us to because the use effect is rendered and it's asking us to use the current location allow it and now if you fetch f12 and here we go we can see that it's loading an object if you open it you can see that current latitude and longitude lo location this is your location longitude and latitude so what i need to do is i need to set this coordinates to our set coordinates method we having this set coordinate state instead of loading this zero over here i'm going to delete it i'm going to keep it as an empty and right after here i'm going to set that coordinate set coordinates is equals object what is an object you need to send latitude that latitude is going to be the latitude and l and g that's the longitude it's going to be longitude we are setting this latitude and the longitude save the changes and now look at that it's loading the Doha because currently I'm in Doha so it's loading that map perfectly so it's working perfectly guys so we successfully get our local coordinates informations look at that it's cool right now what we need to do is we need to by now we having the current coordinates in our hand using this current coordinates we need to fetch the um, API informations from which API we are going to fetch the information we are going to fetch the API informations from the travel advisor and we are going to fetch the restaurant informations over here so how to fetch the informations if you scroll down you can see that it's looking for the latitude and longitude informations all those informations so we need to supply that latitude and longitude informations okay so now what I need to do is I need to use this API in our API folder so let's go to our API expand it and here we having this hello.js so let me delete everything we don't need anything and let me rename this file to index.js index.js we'll keep it as it is 
okay so inside this index.js what i'm going to do i'm just going to import the axios first import axios this is the package we are going to uh, use to fetch the informations okay and i'm going to write a function to export const uh, get places data is equals asynchronous method this should be an asynchronous method and it should wait until that data it successfully uh, fetched completely and it's going to have the two information southwest coordinate information and northeast coordinates informations okay the southwest direction latitude and longitude and the northeast direction not lot, uh, lot latitude and longitude information open the function and inside this function we are going to use the try and catch block if there is any error we are just going to console log that error what is that error it's going to come from so we need to give an attractive statement so let's say uh, fetch data error and let's console log it okay so this will print the statement along with that error what is that error and all those things okay so let's go ahead to your browser and these are the informations you need to be copied from your so what i'm going to do i'm going to from here variable options copy this completely copy it and open your browser and right after this axios you need to use this thing and inside this i'm going to write the method what i'm going to write i'm going to fetch the data and what i need to do is so const response is equals await await it should wait until that response is completely fetched axios dot dot get method okay inside this get method we need to pass that url and all those things okay so most probably i need only the data it will return the complete response objects and all those things i need only a very specific data so i'm going to destructure it i need only the data object inside the data object i'm going to fetch only the data okay and here i'm going to pass the url okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this URL separately. Copy this URL. Const is equals. Uh, const URL is equals. Paste that URL over here. And I'm going to pass that URL over here. URL. Okay. URL object. And then we are going to pass that options. That's the second parameter. Options. So what are the options I don't need? Oh, we don't because Axios is going to use the method get method only. We don't need it. And URL we having it as a separate parameters over there. And we don't need it. And we need these things informations only. We don't need all these informations. Close it, delete it. And this is your API. This is really important. You should keep these informations for your in a secured variable so we will keep it these things later in our environment variables later okay so we deleted all those informations and then that will be passed over here to our uh, options wait a second options so after this once it's done right after here we need to return our data we need to return our data so we are just returning the data okay so this will returns all the informations what we are looking for so now let's go ahead and fetch the informations so now the api coding is done the integ it's integrator and it's fetch and this function will help you to fetch the information okay so let's go ahead and let's try to get the informations okay so right after here use effect use effect open the bracket equals okay and it's going to be the um uh, dependencies we need to set fetch the dependencies open here 
okay so what I need to do is I need to pass the information I need to pass um, one second okay so actually I made a simple mistake so what I need to do is so instead of these parameters we don't need to pass any parameters because we are hard coding a simple a static data so far so let's verify whether the data and everything is working fine or not then we can uh, make sure all these informations are working perfectly so let's get the place data information from our api so it's imported api then and absolutely this is an asynchronous method that will returns a promise so dot then and that will return a data itself so let's import the date let's get the data okay and let's console log the data first what is the data we are getting console log the data save the changes and let's go back to our browser and let's go to expand the and look at that here we are getting few array informations and like that it's returning the uh, restaurants informations okay so we are getting the data so our API is successfully integrated okay so now what we need to do is whenever I'm changing this browser coordinates I need to fetch the information right that's what we are going to do to do that what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a state because I need to fetch that information when I when my map is changed I need to fetch that information okay so and here if you have a look at the API what are the informations it's looking for it's looking for these top right bottom left and bottom top right latitude and longitude bottom left latitude latitude and longitude so we need to fetch that bounds of your maps Okay, southeast and north, southwest and northeast uh, bounds of your map. So, how to fetch that information? Now, it's what we are going to do. And here, I'm going to create one more state that is going to be bounds, set bounds, and initially it's going to be null. Okay, and I'm going to pass that state to your map. Okay, so that that will really helps you to set the bounds. So, set bounds is equals set bounds we are passing that information to your maps copy it and go to the map.jsx and expand this map over here and we'll copy that over there then what we need to do is we having this on change event whenever the event is whenever the on change is happening I'm going to create an event inside this event I'm just going to console log console dot log that event so wherever it's possible console log it and you can see what kind of data you are getting into it so here if I open that event, you can see that it's getting that event, and here you can see that bounds which we needed northeast northwest southeast and southwest these are the bounds we needed and inside it it's having the latitude and longitude information so we need this information only this thing not all these margin bounds and all those things we need this bounds information okay so we are going to fetch that so let me delete it so set first we are going to set the uh, co set first we will set the coordinates so set coordinates it's going to be an object and here first you need to set the latitude latitude is going to be the center location center it's having the center center latitude and longitude so even dot center dot latitude that's the latitude and longitude lng is going to be e dot center dot lng longitude so set coordinates it's done and after here we need to set the bounds so set bounds uh it's going to be northeast northeast n e it's going to be uh, e dot margin bounds margin bounds dot ne northeast then southwest it's going to be e dot margin bounds dot southwest we are done over here now whenever 
in our index.js this should be re-rendered again when whenever there is a changes in the coordinates and whenever the changes in the bounds if there is anything changed you need to re-render it and i need to pass that thing to this function what is that i need to pass if there is bounds bounds if it is there is bounds dot southwest then if there is a bounds dot northeast pass these two informations only if it having a detail because initially it will be null that means it will throws an undefined error so make sure that you are using this question mark over there then we'll go ahead to our index.api and inside there we need to get that information how we are passing southwest and northeast so go ahead here and pass this southwest and northeast okay so how to bring this static information how to replace the static information to our uh, details which we are sending to this function so what we need to do is I'm just going to bring all these parameters informations into my options insert instead of this options I'm going to create an object and I'm going to pass this parameter into it I'll copy this parameter from here to header copy it and right after here here only I created that object and here I'm pasting that object instead of this um, hardcore event instead of that hardcore event see the changes um, okay instead of these hard coded things let me delete delete it and first bl that means bottom left that means south west latitude lat and here is going to be north east dot latitude and then bottom left south west dot lng longitude and here north east lng latitude okay latitude latitude longitude longitude it's done so now this function should work according to that particular latitude and longitude let's go ahead and let's filter it let's refresh these changes and now we should get the informations according to that look at that we are getting the data according to that information see it's returning the top 33 information 35 information even because when i refresh it it's getting that information over here so now we are fetching the details now what we need to do is we need to set these details to our places instead of hard coding this places information what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a state and i'm going to update that state once the data is loaded okay so let's do that now what we need to do we need to create a state to monitor that so i'm going to instead of loading like this let me copy this name delete it and i'm going to create a state over here use state snippets i'll going to place that one paste it initially it's going to be an empty object save the changes and then uh, here instead of printing this data uh, we will print this data as well as after this once it's going to loaded I'm going to set the loading as set is loading as true and right after here set places it's going to be that data and then that is loading as false so now this places will be uh, it will set the places for the state and that state will be passed to your list if everything is working fine now the skeleton is loading until that data is get loaded okay 
once that data is get loaded successfully look at that we are seeing we are getting all the names what we wish to get so we successfully fetched the information and it's loading all the names of that restaurant for this current bounds over here cool let's close this now and let's expand any details over here because we are going to use this quite informations lots of informations from the api over here we are going to design this place details much more detailedly and briefly that's what we are going to do next okay then so now what we need to do is we successfully loaded all the informations from the api so now we need to create this nice a uh, list item okay so let's go ahead and create this nice list item so go to your visual studio code editor and open your place details because this is where all our place details are getting stored and we are going to alter all those things okay so now what we need to do is instead of returning this division i'm going to create a flex from the chakra ui okay inside this flex inside this flex what we are going to do we are going to fetch all the informations okay so let me add a few styles for this flex box first and this flex box is going to use the background color so what is the color we are using for this for instance if you have a look at it it's having this background white color and it's having this inside this it this is one flex box complete flex box and inside uh, and it's having the address inside this flex box this is one flex box and this picture is one flex box and this title is one flex box this rating is one flex box and this is a flex box and this is a flex box this is also a flex box so we having tons of flex box inside it so let's get design it let's go here go there and bg it's going to be white alpha 900 then px is going to be that means x and y axis it's going to be four sorry x axis and y axis it's going to be two and margin bottom because we need some space for each and every different cards and it's going to use the shadow effect and that shadow it's going to be lg and direction it's going to be column only and align the items it's going to be start everything should be aligned in the start and justify the content space between okay so these are the things and inside this so now we created that main card if you have a look at it we having that main card over here then what we need to do is uh, so if you are saving and refreshing every single time it constantly fetches the details from your browser okay so that will avoid that that will increase the possibilities to of uh, complete your per month free quota if you're finishing your per month free quota you need to pay twenty dollars and you need to access your apis so better what you do design it completely and then save the changes okay so that's what i'm going to do i'm just going to fetch all the informations then i'm going to save it okay so don't keep on save for every single informations that will cost you the api fetch informations okay so try to avoid it so i'm just going to type the informations first what i needed so i'm just going to create a flex box one more information inside this flex box justify the content it's going to be space between and width it's going to be full okay that's all it's needed and inside this flex box i'm going to create one more flex box and that flex box it's going to take direction as a column direction then justify the content start align the align items start oops sorry start a oh, come on start then width it's going to take full width and px is equals two 
okay then inside this division box which we create right now we are going to create one more division flex inside this this flex box it's going to be align items center and width it's going to be full and justify the content it's going to be space between because inside this flex box we are going to load our text we are going to load the text what is it inside this text first text it's going to be your place this place dot name we are going to load the place dot name and this is going to have a quite an CSS properties text to transform it's going to be capitalized capitalize and right after this width is going to be 40 I'm fixing the width because uh, in sometimes the restaurant name will be too big so we need to add that uh, it should be automatically uh, stop that very big name so the maximum width it can go up to its 40 pixels only so 40 then the text need to be truncated properly if you go and check for uh, text utilities over here and it's also having the is truncated property truncate text over here see is truncated so it will automatically add this three dot if it is over big so I'm just going to use this hook for our text property okay go here place dot name place dot name is nothing but if you expand any one option over here we can see the name property this is that name property we are using place dot name okay place dot name width and then font size I'm just going to say as LG let me break it and right after here I'm just going to say font weight is going to be 500 and is truncated okay it's truncated and right after this text box I'm going to have one more text box that is going to be text enter and this is going to have the font size as small and it's going to have the font weight as 500 and this 500 and I think this is also should be inside 500 and color it's going to be gray 500 not 200 500 okay inside here I'm just going to render the place dot what is the thing you need to fetch the price if you search for price where is the price price ah here it is price copy the price and paste it over here price okay now I'm just going to save the changes save it and look at that now we having the name and you can see the text is automatically truncated and it's also having that price details over there cool now it's working perfectly okay so then now what we need to do this um, wait a second where is this flux is ending so right now we are displaying the flux name and all those things so where is our main flux is ending over here such justify content this is where our flux is inside we having the text and all those things okay so this right after that what we need to do is we need to display our image right after here I need to display the image so I'm just going to use the image from the chakra UI and that's the self closing image okay if you go through this uh, here you can see the photo property where is that photo property here if you open this photo property inside the photo property we having the image and we have large medium and lots of kinds of image over here so you can use whatever the image you want in if I choose large I have the URL for that image okay so I'm going to fetch these informations
go here inside the image I'm just going to say object fit is going to be cover and width I'm just fixing the width as 120 pixels only and height I'm just going to say same 120 pixels and rounded I'm going to say LG and the source is going to be open it so place that means in few things doesn't have an image right few uh, we can't expect every restaurant should have their own image so in some cases you might receive an empty restaurant also in that case like you need to replace it with your placeholder image okay so place dot photo if that photo let me go here and copy this if the photo is available then display that photo you are place dot photo dot images because we having this images inside this photo we having this images images dot large I'm going to use this large large dot and I'm going to copy this URL URL large dot URL in case if that image is not available I'm going to use this placeholder image you can download uh, you can copy the URL from the internet any placeholder so I just copied this randomly from the internet only I'll search for food replace holder I found this nice picture and then I copy that URL and I'm feeding it over here okay so if everything is working fine now we should see our picture also look at that now we are seeing our picture too okay but what is the problem is it's not supposed to be uh, I think this is should be inside over here perfect like this it's supposed to be here only okay so I made a mistake so now here we having this text and we having this image for our restaurant look at that as I said few of the restaurants doesn't have this proper image feeds on all those things that will be replaced with this placeholder cool it's done now let's move on and now what we need to do we need to bring up the ratings and the price level of that restaurants let's go ahead and do that thing okay so this is the flex main flex box and where the images and loading inside this is the flex boxes for our text container okay cool where we are loading our text and all those things wait a second let me check those informations this is for text okay so right after that we need to bring the ratings and the so where is that this is the text details over in and here we need to bring the ratings so here I'm just going to create one more flex and this is also going to be align items center and width it's going to use full width inside this first what we are going to do we are going to bring the ratings we are going to bring the ratings from where where it is from material yeah ratings and what I'm going to do is I'm going to supply the ratings for these things so size we are going to use what are the size that's available small medium only so we'll use the small and the value actually we are going to get the ratings from where uh, you can see we have the ratings over here where is that ratings here rating over here we having these ratings we need to supply this rating but actually it's a string we need to supply it as a number so I'm going to say number pass that place dot rating as a number and that should be only read only save the changes 
and now you can see that ratings over there cool right and now after this uh, after this ratings I need to display the um, what is the display I need to display this this particular reviews total reviews and this price level over there right so let's do that so right after this thing I'm going to bring that text inside here I'm going to display the number of reviews the total number of reviews I'm going to display it and that is displayed inside a bracket okay that's in displayed inside a brackets so what I need to do is I'm going to open the dynamic block of codes and string literals and open the bracket inside here I'm going to wrap that thing so place dot number underscore reviews you can see reviews as number of yeah, here number of reviews copy that thing and paste it over here that will be your text and after this we are going to create one more text that is going to be your price level what is the level of price copy the price level where it is here it is copy the price level place dot price level so let's add some styles for it okay both are going to use the same styles only so I'll add the alt key over here and the font size it's going to be SM and uh, font weight it's going to be 500 and the color it's going to be gray 500 okay and for this second one I'm just going to say margin left it should be auto now if I save the changes now we can see that it's having the reviews and it's also having the price level then now what we need to do we need to bring the uh, what is this I'm not sure uh, oh, this is the ranking <laughs> I'm sorry that's the ranking we need to bring the uh, ranking and after that we need to bring whether that uh, shop is open or closed we need to bring that information okay so right after this flex box now what we need to do we need to bring the ranking so that is just a text box text so place dot you can find the ranking copy it and paste it here and then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same styles only so let me copy it from here copy it instead of uh, gray 500 I'm going to use gray 400 okay and right after this I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste here what is that it's uh, status open status open status whether it is opened or not open status instead of ranking what we are going to do we are going to display open now text where it is is open now text where are you ah, here it is open now text copy that paste it is okay so this is going to be 600 save the changes and now you can see that informations over here ranking and the shop status currently it's early morning 445 so it's showing closed everything is closed now cool then what we need to do and we need to bring this uh, that what are the like uh, options they are providing the dietary restrictions and all those things they are providing if you go here and they having the dietary restrictions dietary where is that dietary restrictions here and that's an array of objects inside that array of objects they're having the name we are going to use that name and that thing okay so what we are going to do is so right after this text box here we are going to bring that dietary options dietary dietary restrictions in that restaurants okay so not every uh, restaurants will have 
few of them will have so we need to condition render it so if the place okay dot it has this dietary restrictions okay and then we are rendering this component okay what I'm going to do I'm going to say flex 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 and this flex is going to use the width width is it going to be full and it should flex wrap because sometimes it can't fit properly inside it it should automatically wrap the content instead of expanding the box so few boxes over here um, it will come two more line not here none of them are available okay so few boxes will come on a two lines more than two lines or something so that should not expand the box so that should wrap its content automatically and it should come to the next line that's why we are using the flex wrap okay inside this I'm going to render so place dot dietary restrictions dot map open it and it's going to take the data along with its index and an arrow 6 component open it and here I'm going to render a batch if you search for batch component in chakra UI if you search for batch over here you can see it's having lots of styles over here you can choose whatever the style you wish to have I, in my case I'm going to use the teal if you search for color schemas there are different color schemes or that these are the color schemes you can use whatever the scheme you wish you can use it from here these are different color schemes in that we are going to use the teals because that go perfectly with our design okay so feel free and go ahead and play around with these settings and you can use your own settings for your theme settings over here okay so what we are going to do we are going to import the batch from the chakra UI and that is going to be closed properly and inside here we are going to display that data n dot name because inside the dietary restrictions we having this name we are going to display that name and I'm going to give you customization the color scheme for this is going to be teal I'm going to use the teal color scheme and the cursor I'm going to use it's going to be pointer equals pointer and the key in it absolutely it will ask for key that is going to be your index and that should be the dynamic block index and the margin I'm going to use one in all the corners and the font size I'm just going to say as 10 say the changes and that will display the information look at that as I said it's coming two more lines so that's why it's automatically wrapped properly and see it's it doesn't have the diet restrictions anything that's why it's not displaying so we should render it condition render it properly so before working on this API you should understand what this data and all those things it's happening having and you need to go through at least five to ten uh, details properly then only you can came to know what is is there and what is not there uh, all the informations as you need okay so right after that what we are having and yeah at last we are having only this information that's our address details that we need to load where we need to load we need to load after this image and after this image we having one flex box and right here we need to condition render our address so open it place dot if place question mark dot where is that data address search for address 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 here it is copy this address if it is having that address place dot address and open it we need to bring that flex box okay we need to bring that flex box close it enter okay and this is going to be align items center and width is going to be width is going to be full not fit content full full and px padding x and y axis x axis it's going to be one 
and margin bottom we need to have some space margin both an x and y axis sorry in top and bottom we need some space so that's why and i'm going to bring the io location icon this is from react icons so i'm going to import the react icons import import from react icons slash io5 and i'm going to load io location io location icon that's the icon we are going to use so where is it here io location and then self close it properly and the font size it's going to be 20 and the color it's going to be gray color okay and right after here we are going to bring the text from the chakra component text and it should be truncated properly is truncated and the font size font size it should be small enough then font weight it's going to be what we can say 500 and the color we can say gray uh, gray dot 700 and the margin left because from the icon we need some space margin left one and here I'm going to display the address place dot address. save the changes and that should display the address just like this look at that now if you're zooming in and it's loading the skeleton properly and it's trying to fetch the information and that it's fetched the information perfectly cool it's working perfectly now if i click this nothing is happening okay because we need to do that filtering now what i need to do is i need to apply the filters for all these lists and all those things that's what we are going to do next okay so let's do it okay then so now what we need to do is we need to filter all these records so let's go ahead and open your visual studio code and over here uh, if you go to the header where is the header if you go to the header and we are here set the ratings and also we are setting the type of the restaurants actually these restaurants and hotels where are these things are coming from these things are coming from your api if you go to the restaurants and if you click this list boundary which we are using currently this is attractions if you check here this is the attraction we are using and if you go to, you can see that the url everything is same just only this thing will change for restaurants if you search if you click the boundary you can see the restaurant is different and the same way if you go to the hotels in boundary you can see the hotels it's looking different just that name itself is changing okay so we are getting that thing by using the state in our index.js if we go to the index.js we having this type and we also having this ratings on all those information what i need to do is i need to pass the type to the state type this thing should re-render whenever the type is changing and also that i'm passing this type to this get place data method okay and if i go to our index dot api that's our api index file okay so uh, this options it's not needed anymore because we are already using it inside here so let me delete that options along with that i'm just going to copy this url and instead of this url i'm going to pass it right over here okay and that is going to be the string literal paste it instead of this I said I'm already passing the type from there instead of this hot coding the restaurant over here here we are going to pass that type what kind of type initially it, it we are setting the states to restaurants because initially it's loading this restaurant details where it is restaurants initially it's loading this restaurant details over there we copy it and we paste it over here to avoid spelling mistakes okay so now if you save these changes and if you save these changes your browser should load and it should load the restaurant details 
now it's loading the restaurants and if I click hotels and that will fetch the hotels look at that it's fetching and if I click attractions that will fetch the attractions in that places cool how cool it is it's the filtering everything is working now and it's absolutely fine now we need to change the ratings whenever I'm clicking this ratings I need to change the ratings so what I need to do is let's go ahead and let's create one more use effect if you are asking me is that fine to have multiple use effect in the same project it's absolutely fine unless they are working uniquely in their own way for instance what I'm saying here is here it will run only when the time of getting initialized and this use effect will run only if the type coordinates are bounds if they are change anything just for this I'm just going to say ratings if there is any changes in this state re-render this component compon re-render this uh, this particular re use effect unless or until it will not going to re-render okay so here I'm just going to say const const filtered data is equals places places dot filter we are going to filter filter not fill filter filter method and we are going to take the place each and every place inside it okay inside if the each and every place dot rating is greater than the rating which we selected okay then that will throws that particular filtered array as a new array outside and we capture it in the filter data and we are going to set this filter data into a new state what I'm going to say is use state snippet filtered data or filtered places filtered places for the time being it's going to be an empty array here what I'm going to do is set filtered places it's going to be filtered data okay this is the filtered data which we having for the places we are going to set this okay I need to set this filtered data to our places I need to send this filtered data to our places so what I'm going to do is if the filtered data is there if there is any filtered data is there send the filtered data or send the places that's what we are going to do cut it if the filtered did places if the filter places dot length is there any length in the filter places send that filtered record filtered places or else simply send the whole records okay so this will work fine initially there is not going to be any filtered record so it will displace that record if I am sending any rating for instance currently everything is having five star rating only yep everything is having five star rating only there is no two star or three star restaurants come on if I go hotels yeah here you having these three star hotels are here if I choose this four star okay not nothing is happening if I am choosing 4.5 mm -hmm. still nothing is happening why let's go to the map index over here this is where the ratings are changing and this should re-render and let's say console dot log let's say ratings what is the ratings we are getting ratings 5 it's showing ratings 5 but it's not filtering the record if I click 4 we are getting rating 4 but it's not filtering why filtered places dot length that's what we're having right filtered places only yeah filtered places dot length then filtered places 
otherwise places yes exactly it should filter it then there might be a mistake over here ah this is the mistake it's not ratings it's rating save the changes now it should work perfectly look at that now it's displaying only the five star if I choose two star now you are having the two star details also if I choose four star now it's showing above the four star details it's working perfectly guys so all the filtering details and everything is working perfectly so we successfully integrated the filterings and all those details and everything but what's the only one thing is missing is whenever the changes is happening I need to plot that restaurant details in our map over here we need to plot all the information over here right that's what we are going to do that information so to do that what you need to do is you need to pass that information to your map let's go to the index.js where is the map here is the map here we need to pass that places over here places okay we need to pass that places just like the same way what we are doing over here okay if there is any filtered information send that filter information or else send that places information so this will happen over here now save the changes and this will be passed to the map let's go to the map and let's destructure this places information places let's go to the map now where is the map okay destructure the places information and now what we need to do is inside here exactly if there is any place if there is any places okay then dot map okay and it should take the place along with the index and I'm going to create an arrow 6 component okay and here we are going to create a division box which is coming from your chakra UI and that box is going to take a quite a few property nothing but your latitude and longitude because we need to point that exact latitude and longitude and we need to convert that to a number and we need to pass that place dot latitude uh, latitude oh god I'm very bad at spelling latitude and L and G is equals number place dot longitude okay latitude and longitude so we are passing that because each and every place has its own latitude and longitude if you verify that if you go here you can see that they have their own latitude and their longitude we are just passing that latitude and longitude to that particular location and then this is going to be the position a relative position a relative position and the cursor is going to be the pointer okay and inside this box what I'm going to do I'm just going to display the IVO location icon and then the color of that is going to be red color and the font size of it is going to be 30 okay so save the changes now if you go here look at that now everything is plotted perfectly guys so we successfully integrated that information so now what we need to do is whenever I click this I need to trigger something that's what we are going to do next okay then so we successfully integrated and we plotted all these informations in their respective places so the location mark everything is plotted perfectly now what we need to do is I need to add a click event for each and every of this icons over here so let's go ahead and add those things so to do that what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a two different states to monitor it that means one whenever I clicked it I need to change the state and two whenever I'm clicking it I need to fetch that details of that particular child component inside that map so we are going to create two different state first state is card that means is that card having a details or not so initially it's false two then 
use state this card is going to maintain the card data set card data initially it's going to be null okay so scroll down and then scroll down over here where that click even this happening inside this child if you have this if you check this child and if you console log this child console console dot log dot child print it as an object okay I change I save the changes it's showing yeah use state is not defined absolutely it's not yet defined save the changes it's fine let me clear the field clear the logs over here what is the error is showing uh, no issue just a warning scroll it up a little bit clear it okay so it's loading the details now if I uh, click this it's displaying the child complete if I click this look at that when I click that it's printing that child object as six if I click this sometimes this click event over here it's not working fine you need to click very precisely then only it's working fine see for very or very few objects it's working uh, you need to click very precisely so here for this for see it's not taking I don't know why but if I click here it's working for click that it's working see so we are getting the ID of that particular object over there so what we need to do is by using this ID I can fetch the informations okay so now let's go here where it is so we don't need this console log over there so here we need to set the card data set the card data of places okay so you can fetch it by using places dot filter method or you can fetch it by using simply just by passing this child as an array place of child okay so we are just getting the only one index number over there we are getting the index number we are not getting any object if you are getting an object you can use the filter method we are getting the index number so I am just using that index number just to fetch the normal array details so that will set the card detail and the set is card as true initially it was false so uh, if this detail is true I'm going to condition render that option over here after this if that is card is true is card is true then render this component what is the component you are going to render a box inside this box we are going to have a bunch of informations for this box style with for this box it's going to be 200 pixels and height of that box is going to be 150 pixels and the BG it's going to be white alpha 900 then position it's going to be uh, absolute and top it's going to be minus 12 and left it's going to be 0 and the shadow it's going to be LG and rounded it's going to be not rounded left rounded rounded it's going to be lg okay inside this box we are going to have an image and we already did that image somewhere where we did that list so i'll go ahead and copy that image from there where it is where it is where it is now oh, place details here we go this is that image so let me copy this and let me paste it here paste it but instead of this place we are going to use the card data card data question mark dot photo card data question mark question mark question mark question mark okay make sure add the question mark and all those things okay so that will fetch the information and right after that we need to display the card data name okay and we need to display also we need to display a question mark because what I'm talking about is if I scroll up here and let me click anywhere okay 
so if I click this you can see that it's showing that called image name and when I click this X mark it's closing we are going to do that thing now okay so now right after this we are going to display the name so what is the name uh, go to the place details where is that name where we are displaying the name right here copy this name and go here and then right after this image tag we are pasting that image instead of place we are going to display the card data name okay save the changes and then we are going to display the icon so for that I'm just going to copy that code and paste it you just guys just copy this and then type it okay this is the code which is going to have that X mark icon over there which is going to bring that icon I'll save the changes now let's verify it whether everything is working fine or not okay and this I like make sure is called data as false let's go there and now if I click this it's throwing an error why be oh god I forgot that icon there it is this icon save the changes now it's refresh again let me zoom in a little bit mm. okay it's loaded perfectly still it's loading yeah it's loading <laughs> still the data is everything is loading okay so now it's loaded if I click this again text is using a new operator where it is text which of which text one I it didn't add the text I hope now it will solve the error this is what will happen when you are copying and pasting even inside your same code still it's loading data are loading okay so now it's loaded if I click this look at that now we're having the image cool close it if I click this it's loading if I click this it's loading and if I click this it's loading but the image is not loading properly so what we need to do is instead of the that particular word I'm going to say with as full save the changes load the width as complete width look at that how cool it is huh it's looking awesome right cool so if you wish to add few more informations over here just like here you can add all those informations okay so I think this is enough for uh, just for showing you a demo so take your time and go here and add all these informations as you needed so we successfully integrated all the informations look at that we having all these nice list over here and we having this uh, uh, rating filtering options is there is any rating if I click hotels that will filter the hotels and if there is any alterations and that will filter the details over here also so everything is working okay, fine except one important thing what is that when I am filtering it that autocomplete we not yet complete that autocomplete information so that what we are going to do next okay then so we successfully integrated all the necessary important things except this autocomplete information so let's go ahead to our header component so let me close everything close all let me collapse everything keep it simple let's go to the header where is the header component components header okay inside the header components we are hidden we comment this autocomplete code so let me uncheck it uncomment it and comment it so make sure this autocomplete is coming from at react Google Maps API so what we need to do is this autocomplete will takes two different functionalities one is on load and another one on place change on loading on load and on place changed to these two different functionalities so we are going to create a two different uh, functions for these things so first we need to create a use state uh, state for autocomplete so I'm just going to say autocomplete autocomplete set autocomplete initially it's going to be null and we import this package over there okay 
and I'm going to create const on load method and that is going to say a parameter auto C we can say that and we are just going to say set auto complete that auto C information say the changes then what we need to do is we need to create one more function const on place changed on place change is equals we need to open list this function inside here we are going to get the const latitude and longitude latitude okay I'm going to get that latitude from the autocomplete dot get place get place okay so get place get place method and using geometry 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 dot location location dot latitude okay so using this information we can fetch the this uh, we can fetch the latitude so where these things are coming from so I just search in the internet to get the geometry location and how to fetch the information from the autocomplete I have figured it out and I find it out so so with all, I'm just saving your time so you don't need to search these informations in the internet so we are using the get place method it will return a geometry location in that geometry location we are getting the latitude alone let's copy it copy it and paste it one more time instead of latitude we are going to say longitude LNG and we'll pause that over here and we are going to set that coordinates over here so set coordinates we are going to update that coordinates and that's an object so first you need to send the lat and then longitude so this will update the latitude and longitude coordinates but actually we didn't mention how this uh, autocomplete is going to use the API and all those things okay so in let's load that function which we created not this one where is that function this one on load and on place changed okay but still we didn't mention how this autocomplete API is going to run on all those things so what I'm going to do is if you search for Google map API's in the internet they will provide you a script link okay but in react you can load all those things in the index.html but in next days where you need to load where how you need to load is you just need to go to your index.js open your index.js okay and here we are going to import the head component okay head so like after here import the head head from the next head right after here inside this flux main flux container we are going to open the head container head tag inside this head tag paste this script tag which I am giving to you right now paste the script tag over here so over here this is the script tag which is going to use that places API from the Google okay and it's going to use the library package and it's using the geometry and it's using the places over here you need to replace your map API, the API which you are using exactly where it is this one copy this and we need to replace this thing over here paste it okay so we need to use this exact map API over here okay so where is this map we are we are using that this API right so I'm just giving that exact map API only over there so this will be rendered and all those things so this will throw an error because it's showing you know, we need to provide the library places and all those things because we don't have that API currently in our places API we need to provide that information so what you need to do is go to the credentials and then go to the API's library okay and search for places API place API places API search for places API and then you can find that places API for you it will shows the enable okay and 
this you should have a, had your billing details everything for your for this to use this api then only you can use this api so go ahead and click the billing settings okay and make sure that you added your billing details and everything inside over here okay so currently it will not charge anymore because uh, it will not charge uh, for the only if you cross a certain limits they will uh, whatever that you are using that will cost you i think so yes exactly okay because currently i'm just for me it's just zero dollar only okay but you need to provide your all billing details and everything so for that newly created project i can't add this billing details because i already already i added three projects for the same account so it's asking me to increase the quota and all those things so if i i need to wait minimum 48 hours to get that approval for that only i'm just using the existing previous project for my website i'm using all the services just for the website i'm just using the same services for that okay so once you added that and then stop your server for once stop the server and rerun the server and refresh it okay so that should load your project completely okay you should get your project loaded successfully if you are getting any error that that is the billing details or anything that means you need to add your billing accounts for instance now it will work fine if i'm searching anything sydney or something see it's showing the automatic suggestions over here if i click that that map will be refreshed instantly and it will loads the details exactly over there so look at that how awesome it is so we successfully created a complete a google companion over here so this will really helpful for you whenever you are traveling it okay and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you're having any question just leave your questions in the comment box i will help you at any time